Hello everyone, this is Joseph Propati, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my game Quick Joust. It's a jousting card game. So this is a game, it's PNP right now that's on Board Game Geek, and I decided to create a production version of it through the Game Crafter. This is going to be my prototype version. Um, I haven't seen it yet, so we'll all be looking at the same time. And in this unboxing, I'm going to be looking at all the components. There will be one component that will be missing out of this, and it will be the main rule book. Um, I did do a version of the solitaire rule book so I could see size and look, but it's basically going to be the same parameters as the solitaire rule book. Um, I just have to finish it up. So this is kind of my copy. It's really, again, it's a prototype. It lets me see how the components came out, the cards, the board, and then once I do the final production value, it will have the main two-player rules and then also the solitaire rules. But let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and open it up again. This is uh, it's a prototype version. Um, this is what the Game Crafter puts out, and it's in one of their medium-sized boxes. Uh, these I like these boxes are good. Uh, it had to be this size because the board is a um, quad fold-up board, and you'll see uh, the size of it. But that's about the smallest I could get. I couldn't get in one of the little smaller boxes because the game board is just too big. So let's go ahead and we'll open it up. Take off the wrap. So now these are these medium-sized pro boxes. They're really sturdy, really solid. I, I like these. So we have our main logo image on the front. Quick joust, jousting card game by me. Then I had some images where this is the solo player board and then we have the two player board the parameters it's a one or two player game because you'll get both versions solitary version and the two player version 12 and up 30 minutes or so could be faster or slower depends on how well you know the game and then your other side artwork so yeah they i mean GameCraft does a really good job on their boxes. This is really nice. So then we have um, the back the premise, the components, parameters of the game. Here's the, again, the solo and the two player board. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. So that's our wrap that we have. And this is gonna have a lot of components because there's um, different types of components um, that we're using. Now, let's see here. We have, you know, because it's a two-player and a solo-player game, well, let's break out all the different types of components. So here's our wood components. We'll go through those. We have our cards. These are all poker size. Uh, some tarot size, large size, and then some of the smaller ones. So we have our cards. And again, this has all the components for the two-player and the solitary. The only thing missing is just the rules for the two-player. But uh, you'll see the size and all that based on the solitary one. So these are the only laser-cut pieces in here. And again, people that know Game Crafter, once you pop them out, you want to just take a, a piece of Kleenex or something just to wipe off the edges because they do have that black sooty um, from the cut, the laser cut. So here's the... Uh, Broken Lances and the Unhorsing tokens. So we have those. Then we have our game board. And the rules. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and look at the rules first. Or, I mean the game board. So as I mentioned before, <clears throat> the game board is a, a quad fold. And it's double sided. So, we have our <coughs> Excuse me. This is our solitaire side, which is marked down the bottom. All right? And these are all the information on it. And then if we flip it over, we have our two player side. So um, it's nice, convenient. You don't have to worry about having two boards to carry around. Uh, everything's nice and clean. Um, I do like their boards. Once it's laid out, it's really nice and flat. And the cards fit to the size of the images on the board. So here is our 
game board. So we have that. And we'll take a look at the rules. So here's the rule sheet. Um, nothing really extravagant. Uh, it's a size for these medium sized boxes. And then you'll have another one in the final production for the two player rules. But here's basically the size and the text, the font size for the solitary game images. Um, again, suggestions, a look, feel, and that's very white. <laughs> So I may put something in the background or change some of the tone. Um, you'll, you'll notice that there's an orange and a blue. And basically, for the solitaire, all the blue text covers for you. All the orange text is for the AI component or the AI player. So you're kind of playing against bots in a sense. Um, but this is your rule book for the solitaire. So we have that. And that all fits in there. We put this in here. Then we put this in here. Then we'll look at the card. So first, initially, we'll have um, the two-player and solitary. It's all using the same card. So these are all linen finish, nice. Um, and then I added in some of these um, for the expansions using the these bonus cards, king and queen and princess. So here's all the regular poker size cards for the game. These are good. Then we have the smaller, these are Lance adjustment cards. Again, much smaller size. These are what are used for when you see your Lance tip adjustments. And they have, you know, um, these are fine pulls like right, left, and up and down for both players. So there's those, Put these back in here. And then we have these larger tarot size cards. And these are cards I made that have, um, there's, it's a six, you can play up to six players. So um, it's a, I know it's, it says one to two, but really, you can have, when you see the two player, you can really adjust and have up to six players. But it's two player as in, there's two players that actually joust at a time. But you can have up to six of your friends playing and then each of you joust together. Should probably, that would probably be a suggestion. Probably should be a two. And then we have, so we have our skills level card. And we'll have our status tokens are on those for broken lances knight and horses total points and jousting wins and then these two other cards which are for advanced levels of play for the jousting and let's see you should have yep there's an orange one okay so those are the tarot size cards. I like those, those came out really nice. Again, all the cards are linen finish. And then we have our components. And again, these are all components that have to be used for the solitary and the two player. So. Uh, interesting. I'll have to check. There's an adjustment I gotta make for the dice. Um, should be a smaller size dice. It shouldn't be a 16. So I'll have to fix that. Everything in here should be the smaller um, 12. And I had should be more dice in there for the black. So that's gonna be one of the things I'm gonna have to adjust. But here's basically all the components. I already see that there's a couple things I'm gonna change, and that's what's nice about it since it's a prototype. I can go through the whole thing, see what I need, see what adjustments I need to make what has to be in it and what doesn't. And then I will finally put my final production in on the Game Crafter page and you'll be able to purchase this as a full production game. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Um, I'm open for any kind of suggestions. If you see something that you think would make it better, please let me know. I appreciate it. And this is my game, Quick Joust and my production copy or my prototype copy from the Game Crafter. 
If you go to Board Game Geek and you look under Quick Just, I'll be giving the notifications when this is ready to purchase um, through the Game Crafter as a final product. Thanks again.